government will finalize documentation on all railway lines in the western region for potential contractors before the end of this year. This assurance from the Minister of Railway Development, John Peter Meo, follows a call for the improvement in railway services for the transportation of explosive materials for mining firms in the area. Commenting on the development, Peter Meo told Joy Business that the President is committed to awarding the contract before the end of the year. We have more in this report. Swearing in a 10-member board for the Ghana Railway Company Limited in Accra, Minister for Railways, John Peter Amewu said, this has become necessary due to the recent rate of road accidents recorded in the area, including the recent explosion on the Begos Road. He also charged the board to support various programs by the company aimed at making railway transportation easily available in the country. The, the, the whole of the Western Line, you know, by the close of this year, the whole of the Western Line will be under contract which means that we can transport, you know, both uh, freight and passengers right down from Takradi to Nyinahini. You know, and along that section, you know, where the mining activities are more, you know, um, a witness. So you are right. If the railway is in place, some of these explosives can equally be transported by the railway line. And His Excellency is determined, you know, that we, we speed up the construction of the rail uh, line as quickly as possible. And you can see it yourself. The expenditure that we've, in terms of quantum of uh, money that we've put into the infrastructure during the first term of His Excellency is unprecedented. Chairman of the board, Daniel Kwame Ajubule, accepted the challenge and promised to improve the efficiency of the company. By this, the company will be able to achieve its objective of providing safe, comfortable, and reliable rail transport services at competitive rate for profit. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome members of the board to the challenging responsibility to help revamp Ghana's railway industry. I am optimistic that considering the diverse background of members, we are undoubtedly equal to the task and with collectiveness of purpose, we shall deliver on our mandate to the admission of all. The minister therefore disclosed to the media that government is focusing more attention to the sector due to its enormous benefits.